My dear students, welcome to week seven of unit three in your Individuals and Societies course for grade eight. This week extends from the 18th of February till the 22nd of February. We will have two lessons or two classes during this week as uh, your Thursday uh, or the Thursday of that week is going to be off for you as students. For the first day, we're going to have the formative assessment. You're going to recognize the task terms and answer formative assessment questions. Our word wall is going to include terms, analyze, demonstrate, describe, discuss, document, evaluate, exemplify, explain, explore, formulate, identify, interpret, investigate, justify, list, recognize, reflect, summarize, synthesize, and use. You're going to watch a video about MYP Individuals and Society's command terms. And you are going to uh, to explore the command terms and what they mean. Now, um, our command terms are going to be again analyze, demonstrate, describe, discuss, document, evaluate, exemplify, explain, explore, formulate, identify, interpret, investigate. Justify, list, recognize, reflect, summarize, synthesize, and use. Now, after that, you're going to watch a video about how to answer MYP INS questions, and you are going to do the assessment. For further practice, you will have further practice related to our unit. After that, you're going to imagine that you are a policy advisor tasked with addressing a declining birth rate in a country with an aging population. You're going to propose three innovative strategies to encourage population growth while considering potential economic, social, and environmental implications. Support your proposals with data and relevant theories from population studies. You will have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, you're going to watch a video and write the most important questions mentioned in the video. On the second day of the week, you're going to have the end of the unit reflection. You're going to review your work and write the end of the unit reflection. Our word wall is going to include review, weakness, strength, discussion, reflection, success, engagement, challenges, and analysis. You're going to watch a video about reflection, uh, reflect on it, and that talks about reflection is learning. You will have an interactive activity. I'm going to show it to you right now, where you're going to have uh, a live worksheet where you're going to write the thing you like most, something you didn't like, the easiest part of the unit, the difficult part. How did you feel that you are? Uh, how uh, how ready do you feel to take a test? Uh, what have you done to learn during this unit? Is there any need, anything you need to keep practicing? Uh, next unit, what would you like? You're going to watch a, a video about personal empowerment through reflection and learning by Dr. Greg, uh, Craig Martler. Okay, and then you will have another interactive activity related to that, uh, which is going to be a quiz and a worksheet types and examples, reflection questions. You will have further practice. And for the challenging question, I would like you to reflect on a time when you were faced with a significant ethical dilemma. What were the conflicting values or principles involved and how did you navigate through them? Uh, in hindsight, do you believe you made the right decision? How has this experience shaped your understanding of ethics and your approach to similar situations in the future? Now, I wanted, or I chose this question because I wanted you to understand uh, more about reflection and to reflect on personal life as well. You will have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to answer the following questions on your notebook. How much do you know about the subject before we started? I mean the population subject about the unit. What process did you go through to produce your work? Have you done a similar kind of work in the past? Uh, in what ways have you gotten better at uh, the population uh, information? In what ways do you think you need to improve? What problems do you encounter while you were working on this unit? 
and how did you solve them? What resources did you use while working on this unit? Which ones were especially helpful? Which ones would you, uh, you would use again? Does this unit or does your work in general in this unit tell a story? Um, I can't wait to start this unit with you guys. Uh, all the love and respect. Um, peace out.